Hello and welcome to Arca at Pocono. It's uh, the newest update of Pocono, I believe. Uh, it's got a little more grip. Let's see, uh, Pocono 2016, I think that's the newest one, so... Um, that's the version of Pocono we're on. We accidentally found ourselves a strength of field race, I guess. We're the number 10. And uh, we got some fast guys in here, to say the least. So, um, we're going to try our best. Uh... I'm not sure where I uh, where I land on speed here at Pocono. Very unique track, and you know it's hard to tell if you're going fast sometimes here because it's just such a big track, and uh, this car's not the fastest, so kind of feels like you're going slow, even if you are kind of taking the turns well. Maybe that's just me, <laughs> but uh, I'm not quite sure where I stack up. I had about a See, I think I was P3 in the open practice for the race, but like pretty much all the people that are in here were not in the open practice because people that are that fast, I guess, don't need to practice. <laughs> I just jump in and they're like, all right, set world record times now. Here we go. I can't do that. So I just uh, try to get a run to the line and see what we can do. Green, green, qualifying. Green. Okay, here comes your first time lap. I've never been the greatest at Pocono, and I've never really enjoyed it all too much because typically what'll happen. Sorry, I gotta make sure I'm doing this right. Typically, what seems to happen is the draft will bring guys up on people. They're impatient, so they take it four wide and then you crash and then you end up under the pacing for the next hour because this track is gigantic and I fall asleep and miss the rest of the race so that's why I don't like book it up obviously that last part's a joke but is it is it really though wow I messed up this corner oh no not the wall oh my god that ruins both laps Oh no, that was awful. That was an awful thing to do. Oh my gosh. That stinks. Because now look, I'm like a tenth down <laughs> on this lap. And we're going to the end of that lap too. Well, that's not my favorite thing I've ever done. So our qualifying's kind of been poo pooed a little bit here. That stinks. Uh, my best, my current best is. You can see it. Down there, probably. Oh, now I overdrove turn two. God, okay. I've decided I'm terrible at Pocono. <laughs> you can see down there is a 55 4. And I did that in the open practice beforehand here. Now it's finishing this lap. I don't care what happens here because obviously I'm going to lose uh, time on the first lap. So not a very good start, and uh, we're going to have tough competition to begin with, so that's not great. If we hit our best, we would have still been in the same spot it looks like right now, so. Mm -mm -mm. I think we're going to fall back more too, yeah, look at that. Oh well, we would have had one more spot if we hit our best, but I think I was actually going to get a best lap too, that was the problem on that lap. I was hitting a pretty good lap before that final corner I turned in a little bit early I think is what happened I started my turn in just a little too early and I got a little loose down there and then I was chasing it up the track yeah you see it's like sliding up four tire slide and then I just had to make sure I didn't get into the wall so that ruined it so now we're gonna be starting in the middle if not worse Okay, 55 1. Like, these are like Coke series guys. I'm pretty sure. I know at least Derek Justice, if not a pro series driver, has been a Coke series driver. I know Brian Blackford, I'm pretty sure they were a Coke series driver at one point. Like, these are. <laughs> these are really fast guys. So. We'll go for that top 10. Top 10 would be very good as the 10 car. And hopefully just have a fun race. Because I just got back from a not fun race. I tried Road to Pro in the trucks at Daytona. 
And, uh, wow, I didn't enjoy Super Speedway, can you believe it? I took the uh, cautious approach, and I did record it. I uh, kind of just uh, hung out, not in the back back for most of the time. I was kind of like, you know, near the rear. And, uh, you know, I just realized I forgot my brake bias in the in car, too, I think. I uh, hung out in the back in that race. Avoided a couple of cautions. You know, about an hour and a half passes. We get to the white flag. There's a 25 car pileup or something in turn four. I break for it in time, and I'm going to make it through. And there's so many trucks. It's probably one of the biggest crashes I've ever seen on iRacing. 25 plus trucks in it. And I slow down in time. I'm ready to just kind of start weaving my way through and honestly maybe even get a top 10. That's how big the wreck was. And the one truck on the track that was behind me just full blasts in behind me and runs into the back of me. Takes me out and he had so much momentum he took out another guy that was next to me too. So I spent an hour and a half being cautious. Got to the final lap avoided the crash that I knew was going to happen all along, and then just get absolutely blasted. So, I don't know if I can do super speedways even <laughs> anymore, even on special occasions, like for the Daytona 500 stuff. I don't think I can do it. I just, it's absolute torture to me. I hate it so much. <laughs> so much, man. I cannot describe to you. So, um, I don't know if I'm going to do that anymore, even for, like, Road to Pro. Like, I, uh... I was not proud of the amount of cursing I did at the end of it. No I'm just not even going to upload it because it was just the most boring, awful thing. I just sat in a pack, driving on the bottom, half throttle for an hour and a half, and then for what? Nothing. So, I don't think it's fun to watch. I didn't have fun. I said some choice words at the end. So, we're just not going to... We're going to pretend that didn't happen. Instead, we're here. At Pocono, and we can actually do some racing. Catch up to car number fourteen. Enough complaining about that. Good times now. One to go. <laughs> Next time by, line up on the inside. Pit road is closed yeah. right now. Catch we'll need to catch up here. Start. Side. Got that weird like sideways start here, Pocono. That's like a really... They've got like the Napa scheme, but they're the number three in this race. And that really weirds me out, seeing a three on like a Napa scheme. I don't know, something about that is kind of messing with my eyes. <laughs> uh, we had someone lose connection up there. That's uh, too bad for them. I'm not sure where they were starting. But uh, they're starting from the pits now. You know, hopefully we uh, just do a good job staying alive here. Not quite sure what to expect. Hopefully some good racing. I like, uh, I think I'd like Pocono if the draft wasn't so much of a big deal and we didn't get four wides and didn't have to do long cautions, which maybe we can avoid all of those things. Not sure. Cautious. <laughs> I'm cautiously optimistic. Not a very good start. I just couldn't see. Stay low. Stay low. There was a car on the high side. Still there. Stay low. Uh, Clear outside. File in behind this guy. keep the tires on it too. Alright. We're off and going. Let me get my such last lap up. That's gonna be more important information. Not 
Try to be nice to the tires and all that. I missed my turn in a little bit there, but we're fine. Turned in a little bit soon, maybe. Still not a big deal. We're off and rolling now, full speed, so. Got this 13 looking like they're gonna try to make a move. So the throttle does turn it a little bit, halfway through the corner. Getting on the brakes pretty good, making sure that I'm slowed down. Trying to find that balance. I'm not trying to hit qualifying laps here, but instead trying to uh, be cautious. I guess we're keeping up just fine. A little worried because I know this four is entering the corners harder than we are. This guy needs to get off me. He just about hit me. The car inside. Still there, hold your line. Clear. Whoa, what are we doing here? Interesting. What's going on? Why are they swerving out like that? Car inside. Still there, inside. Pass me, do it. Car, Don't think you're faster than me, I think you're just overdriving the entry. Look at it, you can't Still even there, pass me. Inside. You're gonna slow us both down, so thank you. Still there, hold your line. Clear. Lap five, I mean, we're, oh, we're so aggressive for it. Better drive, though. Imagine that, he's slow. I wish I could bump draft in this thing. Stuck behind a slower guy because he's impatient. Has to drive up his drive uh, his right rear or his right front off of it. have a nose on me, so he can wreck, wreck us both if he wants, but it's not how you pass. In the past, I would have let him have it just because I was afraid he's going to run me over, but I don't, I'm tired of playing that game. i play that game too long. Someone looks, so you have to give it to them. No, get a nose on me first. Not getting bullied. <laughs> I was feeling pretty good. 
Ooh, had a lag at a bad time there. That was a bit of a weird spot. F3, kind of getting sideways down there. I'm a nervous. Being held up by this too wide here. Doing a better job with tires. Okay, Colter, the next car is oh my gosh, what's this guy doing? That was a scary situation, but looks like we're okay. Oh boy. I was getting into the wall and then five problem. All right. I remember top ten's the goal here. Should be uh, capable of that. I don't think I'm faster than this four, but I'm not going to try to make a pass until I'm sure I can get it done. Just fighting side by side for too long is not going to help anything. We're gonna make it pass or try to. Looks like he's looking. Three is blocking. Right up in their wreck, aren't we? Did that thing where I turned into early again. Gotta make sure I'm hitting my marks. Got ten left to go. Okay, Colton. Halfway home. Fuel looks good. That one was a 56.6. I'm to drove that a bit, I think. Oh wow. What is this blocking going on up here? They're making contact while blocking. I think I'm learning that I don't hate the track, I hate the drivers, and the way the people drive the track. That's probably uh, a good summarization of how I feel about Pocono. I'm starting to just miss my marks though, when they're driving away. I don't know, maybe I'm bad at saving tires too. I feel like I'm being pretty conscious about it, but who knows. Yeah, I'm fine. I, if I, I, this is just a lack of talent that's not letting me keep up. 
I think I'm doing okay with tire saving. It's just, uh... Pocono's a difficult track. Good consistency. Keep them coming. Oh. Track's getting tighter. Didn't do that very well. love taking the tunnel turn, though. That is one part I can tell you for certain that I love about Pokemon. I really like turn two. I turn in too soon again. Let me... St okay. I hate turn three, though. There we go. All these truths coming out about Pocono and my experience with the track. Don't like turn three. I like turn two. I do like, though, that every turn is different. That's very unique and pretty interesting. Worth something. Just don't think I'm very good at it. That's my mark there. Damn. Actually hit turn three correctly for once. Looks like we did. At least better than last time. And you gotta hit every corner correct here because if you don't, there's about a whole airplane landing strip of crack to race down before the next one, so. Oh man, I overdrove that bad. That guy could have come and passed me, but uh, he couldn't get under me. Thankfully, he didn't just run me over. I can't tell if that guy's actually hitting the wall there, or if that's just, uh, it's predicting that he is. It doesn't seem to be affecting him if he is or not. I'd really like to hold on to this top 10. I would, I'd be content with that. Don't feel like I've run a very good race, but... There we go. Hit turn one correctly, thank you. You just gotta get on the brakes so hard. It's uh, easy to underdo it. bad tunnel turn. Huh. We're getting hounded from behind, but haven't been able to quite get alongside us yet. And again, I, I don't feel like the tires are the problem here. I feel like I'm the problem. better that time. It was like a track where you have to be willing to take some risks. Like, you have to be pretty brave. Up high. Go low. Push get on the gas. And, uh, not get on the gas too soon and get yourself into the wall. And, uh, maybe I'm not brave enough to know when to get on the gas. Um, we did pass someone, by the way. I'm sure you noticed. I wanted to finish my thought, though, because it wasn't I wasn't going to remember it otherwise. 
Uh, it looked like they wrecked and then got going again a little bit, but it hurt our corner, but not too much. Inside. Not there. Just gonna dive it in. Jerk. You're up top, three wide. Right side, two wide. You're up top, three wide. Okay, we're gonna die because guys are stupid and impatient. Fuck. Inside, two wide. You knocked your wheels out of alignment. Keep high. Two left to go. Two to go. Sorry for the language. I'm having a bad day. Get off me. Still there at the bottom. Clearly in my lane. What you're going. Stay high with the car on the low side. Clear, car inside. Keep high. Still there. Ah, uh, I do have to scrap this one too, because I hate myself and don't want even clear inside. Uh, I don't know. Oh. Car's broken now. What flag Guy dives it in, I have to leave him room and can't take my normal line like I want to. Causing me to go slow and then impatient dunderheads want to take it four wide. You want to see how it feels? That. I get my heart attack. Oh, did you have to overdrive the corner? Or you? This guy probably didn't even do anything. I'm just in such a bad mood after that road to pro and then now that. Look at him mow down the wall. Good job. Well, I stink at this, but I certainly didn't get any help from these guys either. Ah. <sighs> All right, everybody. Uh, great win, there. Good job, buddy. P12. That's it. We're done. All right. There's the ticket flag. Bring it back to the pits. We're going. Twelfth place. Whatever. So what happened, huh? Something just comes up. What are you doing? I know he got the call. I know he got the three wide call. So where are you going? And then this guy pauses it because he dives it in. He's not there. He drives it in like he is. So I have to stay up, because I know if I take no, my normal I'm line... If I take my normal line... You and uh, Santiago get together or something? It's one past 16 and 17. It was a fun time. It's such a bad mood. I'm sorry. Let's watch the incidents normally.
blocking. I would have to fight the urge to just left rear him right there. Oh man. I stand that. I have some harder. Six just runs over the guy in third, that's what happened to him. Pretty dangerously decides to just turn in front of people too. I mean not much. Chan, that was a lot of fun babbling with you there, buddy. Yeah, it it was it was pretty good. I just uh I don't know, that, that situation there in the turn two, I didn't know if he had the nose on me. I didn't think he did, but I had to leave room anyway, and I wasn't ready to take it on the outside, so I messed up the corner, and everyone got stacked up and ran into each other. But, uh, yeah, it was pretty fun. Yeah, man, I, I appreciate the room. I, I thought I was close enough, so I was like, you know, I would have let up if you had cut in front of me, but I was going to go for it. I knew you would. That's why I left the room. It's just uh, it was kind of stunk because I had to decide too late, and it left me uh, taking the tunnel turn all wrong, and then we all get stacked up. I'm just I feel bad. Everyone got uh, stacked up there. Yeah, I was trying to get that nose on you because uh, you definitely don't want to get stacked up or get stuck on the outside there on the tunnel turn. That's not a fun place to be. Yeah, for sure. Uh, good racing with you. Yeah, that was really fun there. That was a lot of really hard close laps we ran. Thanks, man. All right, I'm not mad at him anymore. <laughs> yeah, I, I do appreciate you giving me the room. Yeah, I guess I should have just thought about it a little sooner and uh, prepared to be on the, on the second lane there before I went in. Um, it's just I decided too late, so it's kind of on me too, not being fully prepared to be on the second lane and being able to turn in properly. So, I don't know, just tough. Yeah, no, it wasn't nobody's fault, it was just racing. And then, yeah, everybody got stacked up there. Yeah. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for the great race. All right, I'm not mad anymore. Everyone calm down. <laughs> that was the next thing, I believe, on our uh, incident report. So, sorry I got distracted. He seems nice. I just get my road rage. <laughs> so, I don't know why that guy's bouncing off me. He's not giving me any room at all. Oh. This guy get the worst of it? Was he in that same thing? Yeah. Kind of on the 17 for not giving room, so. I don't know, tough situation. And the one, I guess, is gonna hit the wall. He's probably got a broken car. Alright, and that's it. Well, sorry for all my complaining. Uh, like I said, I was kind of fueled by having a really rough <laughs> road to pro race, too. Um, 12th isn't really all that bad as the number 10. Uh, I'm probably going to review that instance a little bit more. I I guess I should have been thinking... Um, I'll go ahead and go back now, since uh, I guess we're here. Um, is this... Okay, this is before it happened. This is after it happened. So I guess I should have been thinking like you know he's gonna he's gonna put it he's gonna dive it in there he shouldn't have I don't think that's of my opinion he was not there but I knew I should have been thinking about how he was gonna do it anyway about here because my choices here are I take my normal line and get taken out or I take the second lane and uh, try to stick on the outside but the problem is I didn't uh, I didn't think about that until I got right about here <laughs> and so I see him going for it and then you see I'm 
having to adjust which line I'm going for at the last second. And, uh, causes me to miss the corner a little bit. And then these guys are all stacked up. And that's what causes the problem here. On one hand, you can't really blame the 16 too much for going for it. I don't think he should have. I don't think he was close enough. I don't know. We would have been fine. I just would have lost a couple spots and been a little, a little bit perturbed. <laughs> Adam diving in a little bit, but it just got worse because we got stacked up, and then the 17 turns up into the 12. Who did? I guess uh, the 17 didn't realize he took it three, three wide. Wasn't listening to a spotter or something. Now I'm mad at this one. Let me double check. This wasn't my fault getting into the 14 a little bit. I mean, no, he's not giving me any room. I'm out there. Okay. I mean, it was it was 4x. It was still an okay finish. Uh, tough situation. That's uh, all that is, I guess. Thanks for watching. Sorry again for being grumpy. Um, be interested to see if anyone else has any takes on that. Huh. Alright. <laughs> I'll see you next time.